Hi there, this is Stephanie and I wanted to make a more personal video just to kind of share a little bit about my own story and my own journey into entrepreneurship. And I'm making this video just in my home, hanging out and, and wanted you to get a sense for who I really am. I am a real person uh, and I really care about uh, my clients and, and those that have a dream and a calling and are looking to make it into a reality. And uh, I thought, you know, I would just share a little bit about myself and, and how, I've, how I've gone from corporate drone to uh, entrepreneur. And uh, a little bit of background on me is I'm, I consider myself bi-coastal. I was born in Los Angeles and my parents uh, got divorced when I was really young and my mom remarried. And um, I moved to Connecticut where I would spend my school year and then usually spend my summers in LA. So I was going back and forth. I was definitely, uh, took a lot of flights as a little kid. And uh, it was great, you know, I got to experience snow, but I also got to experience the California lifestyle. And I think for me, you know, I, I have really, I would feel really blessed to have very supportive parents who always believed in me, always supported me, uh, and, and my crazy passions. When I was little, like, I loved strawberry shortcake, but I also, like, loved science. I was a big science nerd, had a rock tumbler, I would collect rocks, I was a little bit of a tomboy for sure, I rode horses. Uh, so I, I feel like I was always a little bit different, like, the only reason I wanted my Barbie house or the Barbie ice cream parlor was for the ice cream maker, not for the Barbies. <laughs> so I, 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 I was always, you know, very unique and, and very bubbly and very, you know, kind of a risk taker and, and always felt like I was different uh, and wanted, wanted a different lifestyle. And, and my parents really did show me by example that it's important to love what you do. Um, you know, my, my stepdad is a music teacher and a musician. My mom is also a teacher for early education and they both absolutely love what they do. But there was also uh, the story told to me that, you know, it was important to be financially stable. You know, I think my mom told me pretty early on, uh, right when I got out of college, that it was important to put money away for retirement. And I did grow up in, in the kind of community that most of us grow up in that says, you know, in order to live a successful life, that that means to go to school, do well, uh, go to college, do well, and then get a great job uh, that you like enough that you love, you know, that ideally that's, that's what people are hoping for you. Uh, but for me, it became very clear right away that the corporate world was not for me. And I suspect if you're watching this video, a lot of this might resonate for you. I have always been an adventure seeker. I've jumped out of planes, uh, you know, doing skydiving. I was boogie boarding in sharky waters in the Pacific from a you know, little age and I also would be the first one to go to an amusement park and go on the big loop-de-loop -loop roller coaster. Like I am an adventure junkie, love the rush. And the corporate world seemed really boring to me and it was boring. So I had this idea of like, oh, I'm gonna go into marketing and advertising and I've always been creative. I've been doing art since I was young. I play piano and I felt like, oh, okay, you know, advertising, I'll be able to be creative. And I had this whole dream of what it would look like. And the minute I got there, I was like, wow, this is, this is not it. I was stuck in a cubicle, I had a boss, uh, the daily commute, uh, being there Monday through Friday, having, knowing that that was my life, nine to five, I was stuck there. And then maybe afterwards, and often it was past five, because uh, I worked in New York City. And so there was a different culture there where you worked later and longer hours. You'd have lunch at your desk. And if I was lucky, I could make it to the gym uh, before having dinner and then go to sleep and rinse and repeat, looking forward to the weekend, that those two days that I would have off. And I knew I wanted to travel the world. I knew I wanted to have the freedom to just pick up and do what I wanted when I wanted. And I've always had that independent streak. And so it became very clear to me that the corporate world was not gonna be a good fit for me, that something needed to shift. And also, most importantly for me, I really wanted to do something more meaningful. You know, not you know to put down advertising and marketing, but for me personally, I felt like I had a bigger calling. I felt like there was something more that I wanted to give to the world and that it wasn't gonna happen in a corporate job. 
Uh, and so I started to look around. I started to do some soul searching. This was in my mid 20s and I came upon art therapy, which is essentially a mixture of my creative side with psychology and brain science and science. Oh my gosh, I was like, wow, this is, this is perfect for me. And so I decided to go back to school to become an art therapist thinking, okay, I'm going to become a therapist then I can have a private practice and start to build, build that life for myself. And I spent hours and hours doing uh, licensure and internships and I moonlighted as a waitress. I actually was a waitress and bartender all through college and getting my master's. And believe it or not, I was able to buy a Brooklyn apartment with the money I saved from waiting tables. So I've definitely always had that drive to make it happen the way I'm going to make it happen. And and um, it was amazing. You know, I, I kind of started to carve out my own life. And, and not take no for an answer and not just give in to what people say is possible. Because it's always easy for people on the sidelines to say what's, what's possible and what's not when they're not willing to actually play the game. And, you know, so I, I've always questioned, you know, well, is that really the truth? Let me see. Let me see if there's a different way that I can do this. Let me see if there's something outside of the box that I can, can pursue. And so I did, I, I went back to school, got my master's and then worked for a nonprofit, which was kind of the first step to do when you, when you first finish getting your master's and becoming a therapist. And it felt a little bit closer, but something was still missing. And I, that's when the calling got louder, where there was a leader inside of me that was saying, there, there, you're meant for more. There's more out there for you. This is, you know, I felt really limited in the, in the way that I can impact people, uh, even as a therapist. And so that's when, that's when it was just kind of shining in my face that I needed to go out on my own, become self-employed and, and pursue entrepreneurship. And honestly, what, what I did first is I, I got sucked into, you know, one of those online programs that was really big back then. And sometimes it's still pretty out there, which is, you know, oh, join this, you know, 90 day program and you're going to make $10,000 a month. And, you know, all you need to do is, you know, click right into our system and, you know, press play and you're going to be making all this money. And, um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about online marketing, I, uh, through that process. And I also remember that I had to invest in that. Uh, and I remember asking my father for the money and he refused. Because he was like, oh, I think that's just a scam, you know, um, you know, so he wasn't really willing to support me in that. And I, I had to really stand in my truth. Well, OK, is this is this really what I want? Is this, you know, I, if I if, and if it is, I'm, I'm going to have to make it happen myself. And so I did. I found a way to, to get the money and I invested in this program and um, it. it it came back around later because all the knowledge that I learned has helped me become successful in the way I am now. But, you know, I sh quickly learned as I got into the program that that, that promise uh, was, was not the reality. And, and I felt that I was trying to put myself in a box or, or put myself into a mold that wasn't really me and it felt really inauthentic. And so, there was the next learning of like, wow, I'm trying to be something that I'm not. So who am I really? Like, what is it that I really want to do? Who are the people that I really want to serve? And that's when things started to shift for me, when I really started to just be true and authentic to myself, to, to my personal brand, which is all about creativity and fun and science. And I, I was like, wow, I can actually use everything I know about neuroscience and brain science to help people. Because what I learned as an art therapist was astounding that people could overcome challenges so much faster by tapping into their right brain. And I was like, well, wait a minute, how can I apply this in a business structure? And then who did I really want to serve? So I was like, wow, I really want to help people like myself who know that they're not meant for this kind of stereotypical status quo mold of the nine to five, who know that they have a calling and there's some bigger difference that they want to make out in the world and they don't, they don't know how to do it but they don't know how to break out. And so those are my people, you know, those people that have this free spirit who are independent, have never kind of felt like they were meant to follow uh, the same path as most people do uh, that feel different. And 
I want to serve those people. So that's why I became a business coach to help people make that transition and have the guidance that I personally did not have. You know, I spent several years struggling by doing YouTube videos and, and writing blogs, you know, waiting for my magical list to appear and all this money that, you know, these online marketers were claiming they could make, which is possible, right? But it's possible only when you have a strong foundation for business and no one taught me that. I didn't have a guide looking at my business saying, this is what's working and this is what's not working. And when I finally hired a coach for myself, everything shifted. When I started to get clear on who am I and then who do I want to serve and, and going out and asking those people questions about what, what's important to them and what solutions do they want and then being able to take that and apply my unique gifts and talents to create a business that first of all, felt authentic and true to myself, but also was really of service, it shifted everything for me. And, and this is now what I do for other people. And I love it. I love it. I now live in uh, San Francisco, but I can take off a couple weeks and go and spend time with my family in Connecticut and work from there. Or if I want to just go down to the beach on a random Tuesday and go surfing, I can do that. I, I don't take clients until 11 a.m. because I am not a morning person. <laughs> I need a couple hours to wake up and I like to sleep in. Um, I don't take clients on Fridays because I want that to be an admin day or if I want the possibility to take a three-day weekend if I want, which is something I just did last weekend. So I've been able to create that life of my design and I'm leaving proof that it's possible. And if you look around, if you look for the people who've done it, you'll know that it is possible for you. And yes, it's scary and, and yet it's so worth it. Is it easy? No, I am not, I'm not gonna pretend that going into entrepreneurship is an easy path. Uh, some may say it's just easier to stay in the nine to five, sure. Is it dependable? Not really. You could be laid off tomorrow. Is it fulfilling for many people? It's not. Actually, a study recently showed that 87% of people are disengaged at work because they hate their job, right? And it's such a miracle that we're on this earth. It really is. The, all, you know, you know, being born where you're being born and, and just the, the miracle that it is that you as a tiny egg uh, made it into, you know, the full formation of a baby and then survived childbirth and then got to where you are right now is an absolute miracle. And so what are you going to do with this one precious life? It is absolutely worth pursuing something that's important to you versus just say, staying in a place where you're just settling to be safe. Sure, you're safe, but you're miserable. So it's way more rewarding to take action towards what's important to you. And for some people, depending on on your particular situation, it could take you a year. Some people it takes several years, you know, but it's worth it because when you finally get there, you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, at least I lived a life that was true to me. At least I lived a life that I got to design, that I am the creator of. And I feel really blessed and honored that I get to, to have that life. But I also know that I'm the one that created it because I wasn't willing to settle because I listened to that voice and to that calling. Because even though my parents many times tried to dissuade me from going into entrepreneurship because it's not the easier path, because it would be way more easier to just join an organization and be an art therapist. Despite those voices, I stayed true to myself. Now, I'm not trying to make my parents wrong. I love them. But, you know, met, you know our family members, our friends, they want to keep us safe. They want to see us happy. They want to, you know, yeah, have us stay in a place that seems comfortable. Uh, but if you're miserable where you're comfort, like in your comfort zone, if that's miserable, like that's definitely not the best path for you. And so having to stand for up for myself and what's true to me in the face of people not understanding and not getting it because they're not me. But if you're watching this video, then I suspect you are someone that's got an independent streak, someone that is just knows that you want to go into business for yourself and that you have a difference, a gift, something that you want to put out in the world, that you, you want that lifestyle of freedom. 
And that there's a part of you that knows that that's accessible, but maybe you don't know how. Maybe you don't know what the first step is. You don't have the clarity and maybe the confidence. Then, then that's why people hire me as a coach. Uh, because when I hired a coach, everything shifted. And also it shortened my learning curve. Instead of throwing things at the wall and hoping it would stick, I, I got the guidance from someone that had been there and done that. And, and I now know, you know, I'm on the other side. I know what it takes. I know, oh uh, gosh, I've learned so many important lessons, some very expensive lessons. And my, my hope and wish is to shorten that learning curve for you in any way I can. If I had known now, or then rather, what I know now, I would have hired a coach so much sooner for myself. Uh, but, you know, being independent, I wanted to do it on my own first. And it's, there's no millionaire, there's no successful entrepreneur or business owner who did it completely alone. At some point, you're going to need support. And, you know, it might not be me, you know, you'll either resonate with me or you won't. But that's why I wanted to make this video is to share a little bit about my personal story. And it was not easy. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't easy. But I also know that, like, I wasn't going to learn everything by just more knowledge, by another e-course. It was about taking action. It was about investing in myself, investing in my business, both time and money, putting something at stake, hiring a coach and a mentor, standing for my dream, and, and getting the support I needed. So on those days when I felt like giving up, um, I had my cheerleaders saying, no stuff, this is worth it, and, and, and continue to put one foot in front of the other. And, and that's why I'm here, is because I never gave up. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, I, I hope this has you feel a little bit closer to me. Know that I'm a real person that I really, really care about you and your dream. I am a fierce stand for you to have what you want. Uh, so much so that I, I, as a coach often have my clients step out of their comfort zone and, and I, and I will not listen to you, um, as someone that is not capable of magic because you are uh, as human beings we have immense potential that most of us are not tapping into and that's why i use a lot of this science to help you tap into that to know yourself and and see your greatness and uh i i hope you will consider me as as a coach or at least as as an educator and a leader depending on where you are in your business, you might only be able to start with an e-course for now. Uh, I do recommend, no matter what, that you do find a mentor at some point. It, it does make all the difference. And it might not be me, and that's okay. Uh, but I, yeah, I guess I just wanted to share a little bit about my personal story and my journey. And, you know, we think it goes straight, but it's actually kind of like this. And, and looking back, everything got helped me get to where I am today. So I don't regret any of it. Uh, but if you are someone that knows, you've got that voice and you'll know, you'll know who you are that knows that the corporate nine to five kind of cycling of this robotic routine is, is not for you. If you know there's something more for you out there, then pursue it. Just take one action, one action towards that dream. You got to start now. You'll never be ready. You'll never be ready, but you can start today. So I really do hope that you will take one action towards your dreams, towards that life that you know you deserve, because uh, I know you deserve it. And uh, if you are thinking of considering me as a coach, I, I feel very honored and I look forward to speaking to you.